Friday, November 10th, 2023, evening edition. Please pardon any visual and informational inaccuracies in this entirely AI-generated News Digest video. Good evening, dear viewers. I am your news anchor, Xander Voxius III. Thank you for tuning in to the Future of News, the AI-generated News Digest Daily Intelli Report. As always, I will be assisted by my valued AI-generated colleagues in scraping the web for the latest stories and interesting topics and summarizing them for you. Without further ado, here are the headlines of the day. Oldest Milky Way continents may be older than Earth's. IRS updates 2024 tax brackets to save money. Joe Manchin decides not to seek re-election in West Virginia. Satellite captures perfect but blurry photo of Earth. Bitwise founders charged in $100 million fraud scheme. Bruce Willis's daughter shares update on his dementia. And much more. But first, let's take a look at this day in history. November 10th in history. November 10th, 474. Emperor Leo II dies after a reign of 10 months. He is succeeded by his father Zeno, who becomes the sole ruler of the Byzantine Empire. November 10th, 1293. Radhan Wijaya is crowned as the first monarch of Majapahit Kingdom of Java, taking the throne name Kertarajasa Jayawardana. November 10th, 1599. Abo Bloodbath. Fourteen noblemen who oppose Duke Charles are decapitated in the old great square of Turku, Swedish Abo, for their involvement in the war against Sigismund. Today's obituaries Padmanabha Acharya, brief Wikipedia summary. Padmanabha Acharya, a 92-year-old Indian politician, has passed away. He served as the governor of Nagaland, Tripura and Assam between 2014 and 2019. Danilo Astori, brief Wikipedia summary. Danilo Astori, a prominent Uruguayan economist and politician, has passed away at the age of 83 due to respiratory failure. He served as the country's vice president from 2010 to 2015 and as the Minister of Economy from 2005 to 2008 and 2015 to 2020. Maya Dennehy. Brief Wikipedia summary. Maya Dennehy, a former Irish footballer who played for teams such as Walsall and Bristol Rovers, has died at the age of 73. Dennehy was known for being the first player to score a hat-trick in an FAI Cup final. Spiros Phokas. Brief Wikipedia summary. Greek actor Spiros Phokas, known for his roles in films such as Rocco and his brothers and The Jewel of the Nile, has passed away at the age of 86. He had a successful career in both Greece and internationally. Hiroyuki Hosoda. Brief Wikipedia summary. Hiroyuki Hosoda, a Japanese politician and former Speaker of the House of Representatives, has passed away at the age of 79. He served in various government positions and was a member of the Liberal Democratic Party. Charles Jordan is the name of several individuals who have made notable contributions in various fields. One such person is Charles Jordan, a basketball player. This article provides a compilation of individuals named Charles Jordan and their respective areas of expertise. Pavel Kantorek, brief Wikipedia summary. Pavel Kantorek, a Czech Olympic runner who competed in three consecutive Summer Olympics, has died at the age of 93. He was a three-time winner of the Kosice Peace Marathon and held a course record for 52 years. Colin Mackay, brief Wikipedia summary. The article announces the death of Scottish journalist Colin Mackay, aged 79, known for his work with BBC News and STV. Roberto Manzoni, 74, Brazilian television director, composer and music producer. David Rene, brief Wikipedia summary. Italian fashion designer David Ren, known for his work at Moschino and Gucci, has died at the age of 46 due to a heart attack. 
Johnny Ruffo is an Australian singer and actor. He gained fame through his appearances on popular shows like The X Factor Australia and Home and Away. Sadly, at the age of 35, he has recently been diagnosed with brain cancer. Marcel Schlechter. Brief Wikipedia summary. Marcel Schlechter, a Luxembourgish politician, has passed away at the age of 95. He served as the Minister for Transport and Public Works from 1984 to 1989 and was a member of the European Parliament from 1989 to 1999. Albert Alfoldi was a Hungarian folk writer and politician. He passed away at the age of 83. He was a member of the Hungarian Socialist Party and served in the National Assembly from 1994 to 1998 and again from 2004 to 2010. Mobil Babayev, 77, Azerbaijani composer. And now on to today's news. General news. The IRS's new 2024 tax brackets. Inflation adjustment could save taxpayers money. The Wall Street Journal. The article discusses how adjustments for key numbers in income, gift, and estate taxes can provide taxpayers with planning opportunities. This allows them to strategize and make informed decisions to minimize their tax liabilities. U.S. says Israel agrees to daily pauses in Gaza attacks, but fighting rages on Reuters. The White House announced that Israel has agreed to pause military operations in parts of North Gaza for four hours a day, allowing people to flee along two humanitarian corridors and potentially release hostages. However, there is no official confirmation of a plan for recurring breaks, and there is no sign of a lull in the fighting. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu stated that the fighting will continue against Hamas but in specific locations for a few hours at a time to facilitate the safe passage of civilians. Joe Manchin won't run for re-election, giving GOP an opening to flip West Virginia seat. CNN. Joe Manchin, a moderate Democratic senator from West Virginia, has announced that he will not run for re-election in 2024. This decision is a blow for his party as it puts their control of the Senate at risk. Manchin plans to travel the country and speak out, potentially creating a movement to bring Americans together. Business news. Elite big law firms are likely to match Milbank, but will anyone raise salaries even higher above the law? The article discusses the likelihood of other elite law firms matching Milbank's recent salary raise for associates. Legal analysts believe it is likely that at least the top 25 AM law firms will match the new salary scale, and some may even try to go above it. Bitwise founders face federal charges in $100 million fraud scheme began months earlier than previously known. KFSN TV. The founders and co-CEOs of tech company Bitwise have been charged with a $100 million fraud scheme after a federal investigation. Irma Olguin Jr. and Jake Soberall are accused of swindling investors by lying about the company's financial situation. The fraud allegedly began in January 2022, and the co-CEOs entered not guilty pleas in court. Former Bitwise employees confronted the CEOs after the hearing, expressing anger and disappointment. The charges include conspiracy to commit wire fraud and taking over $100 million from investors. The case is ongoing. Science News. The oldest continents in the Milky Way may be 5 billion years older than Earth's. LiveScience.com. Astrobiologists believe that the oldest continents in our galaxy may have formed 5 billion years before Earth's, suggesting that there may be planets in the Milky Way with more advanced alien life than ours. Researchers use levels of uranium and potassium in nearby stars to estimate when plate tectonics could have emerged on a hypothetical rocky planet and found that some stars' planets could have formed continents up to 5 billion years earlier than Earth. This raises the possibility of more advanced biospheres existing in our cosmic neighborhood. 
A satellite's very tiny camera took a very blurry picture of Earth, and it's perfect, space.com. The European Space Agency has released a blurry, low-resolution image of Earth taken by the TriSat-R satellite, which is equipped with small cameras. The satellite's main purpose is to study the Van Allen radiation belts and the Earth's ionosphere. The image serves as a reminder of our existence on a tangible object in the universe. Famous people born on this day. Martin Aslan. Here is a recap of their Wikipedia page. Martin Aslund is a retired Swedish footballer and sportscaster. He played as a midfielder for several clubs, including Jurgardens IF and AIK, and earned four caps for the Sweden national team. After retiring, he became a football pundit for Swedish television. November 10th, 1945. Donna Fargo, American singer, songwriter, and guitarist. Health news. Exemptions for required vaccines for U.S. kindergartners reach record high, CNN. A new report by the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, reveals that the percentage of kindergartners who received their state-required vaccines for measles remained below the federal target last school year. The rate of vaccine exemptions for children also reached the highest level ever reported in the United States. Lower levels of vaccine coverage raise the risk of outbreaks, leaving the country vulnerable to diseases that can cause severe illness and death. Title, The COVID-19 Blame Game, Unvaccinated Individuals Disproportionately Scapegoated, Study Suggests. Text, The COVID-19 Blame Game, Unvaccinated Individuals Disproportionately Scapegoated, Study Suggests. Psypost. A recent study published in the Journal of Medical Ethics suggests that negative sentiments towards those who choose not to get vaccinated against COVID-19 may be a form of scapegoating rather than a justified response. The study found that participants were more likely to blame unvaccinated individuals, even when their risk profiles were low. The research also found that liberals were more likely to scapegoat the unvaccinated compared to conservatives. The study highlights the importance of addressing misinformation and risk misperceptions in discussions surrounding vaccination. Entertainment news. The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Amp Snakes. First reviews, great action and a strong cast, but a bit overstuffed. Rotten Tomatoes. The first article discusses the reviews and opinions of critics about the new Hunger Games prequel movie, the Ballad of Songbirds and Amp Snakes. Critics generally praise the film, describing it as a worthy addition to the franchise with a compelling storyline and strong performances. However, some critics feel that the movie is unnecessarily long and loses steam in the third act. Jury reaches verdict in Robert De Niro NYC court battle with ex-assistant New York Post. Robert De Niro's company, Canal Productions, has been ordered to pay $1.2 million to his former assistant, Graham Chase Robinson, by a Manhattan jury. The jury found the company liable for gender discrimination and retaliation. While De Niro himself was not found personally liable, jurors said his company should pay damages to Robinson for each of her claims. Bruce Willis's daughter shares update on beloved actor's dementia, HuffPost. Bruce Willis has been diagnosed with aphasia, a disorder that affects memory and communication, and has retired from acting due to his condition. His daughter, Tallulah Willis, spoke about his diagnosis on The Drew Barrymore Show and emphasized the importance of spreading awareness about frontotemporal dementia, the rare form of dementia that Willis has. Despite his cognitive decline, Tallulah expressed that her father is still the same and that she sees love when she's with him. She also discussed how she has found healing in exploring her father's world and memories. Thank you for watching this AGNDD Intel I report. Like, subscribe, and click the bell button to get notified during new uploads. And make sure to tune in next time. Stay safe and healthy. Cheers. Mm -hmm.